Hi, and welcome to the first chapter. Let's start off with the mechanism of self-healing, how it really works to reduce the flakiness of your test before jumping in all into the details and demos. The sample project that I will use in this course can be found in the course overview section for you to download. With self-healing enabled, when Calon Studio fails to identify an object via its default locator, it will continue to search for other pre-configured alternative locators to interact with that object. Thanks to this, the test execution can still be running rather than failing due to the unable to find element errors. Once the broken object locator is self-healed, Studio will automatically continue to apply the working alternatives for the remaining tests in the same execution. After your tests have completed executing with the final status as passed, the alternative locator will be proposed as a permanent replacement for the broken ones. And with a simple click of approve, it will be automatically updated as the new test object locator, without having to change anything in the relevant test cases. Looking at this demo, what we have here is a test suite collection, including three test suites, each containing a typical automated end-to-end -end test case. They all interact with the same web elements, which are the book appointment button, password text box, and the booking button. Now let's run this test suite collection in both the sequential and parallel mode with self filling on and see how it goes. First off, the sequential execution. Running tests sequentially just means that each test will run one by one, where the following test case or test suite will start running once the one before it has finished. What's going to happen is the broken object locators in test case number one will be automatically healed with the replacement of new working locators. And the working alternatives will continue to be used for two other test cases during runtime. Our execution is finished. Let's check the log viewer, starting off with the first test case. The book appointment button, step 3, was initially not found by the default XPath. So, Calon Studio located and applied another XPath alternative, which has prevented the test from failing. Same thing for the password text box in step 5 here. Moving on to the next suite, the second test case. Steps 3 and 5 automatically use the working locator for the elements, the button, and the text box, which were healed in the previous test suite. In a step 13, the object was identified for the first time, so the process of self-healing was triggered instantly. And finally, in the last test suite, since every broken object had been healed in the first two suites, it simply used those working alternatives to run the test without having to go through the self-healing process again. Let's move to the self-healing insights tab. If you want to use them as the new default locators for corresponding elements, simply click on the Approve button. After the update, if you run this test suite collection again, even with self-healing turned off, the test will still run successfully without any broken object issues. Now what would happen if the test suites run in parallel? Would self-healing still work fine? Let's find out by running this collection in parallel mode. Alright, so I'll switch it to Parallel and click Execute. Alright, they're up and running. What's happening is these tests are being executed simultaneously. And whenever a test step encounters a broken object first, it will be independently healed with a working alternative locator. The following steps in the same test case, or in other test cases, will know to interact with the same element that was previously healed with a new locator, rather than starting to self-heal again. As you can see here, all the test suites have passed. Like previously, you can also have the option to update the broken locators with the proposed alternatives. Although the way that it operates is slightly different from the sequential mode, self-healing can still work perfectly fine in parallel executions without duplicating the work. That's the end of our quick demo of the mechanism. All in all, self-healing saves you tons of time, not only for the execution stability, but also for your test maintenance, especially when your application and its front-end elements go through frequent changes or updates in Agile projects.